Hello, and welcome to another challenge. I know it's been a while, sorry about that, but uh, yeah, anyway, uh, this time we're going to be doing something a little different. Build a utility vehicle uh, with a bit of a twist. We're going to be building these utility vehicles to transport popane. Popane? Propane. Uh, but there's like a propane bottle mod in BeamNG. So I've just had the, good, the best thing to do with that is to ask you guys to make vehicles to try and transport that. A uh, bottle of propane around a very bumpy and uh, rough course. Uh, so what you're going to need is plenty of ride height and a way of carrying a co uh, cocaine, a propane bottle. Uh, well, there are really two ways of going about this. One of these is using a pickup truck, and the other one is attaching a trailer to your car in BMNG Drive. Um, Obviously, if you go with the trailer option, uh, it should, in theory, mean, well, you're not limited to a pickup truck body. Uh, so, you could gain an advantage in that regard, possibly even try and get away with a sports car body, although I doubt you'll be able to get the ride height needed um, for that. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, pickup um, body. Oh, that's a cool thing. Um, yeah, so, there are some... Uh, interesting pickup options including this ute and uh, yeah a couple of utes and things it should be interesting to see what kind of mix we get uh, in terms of body oh, I can just see this being picked or something now um, I, I should prepare for that to come um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how people choose to, uh, to tackle this I have a feeling using pickup truck bodies is going to be better than uh, trying to use a normal body and towing the trailer so I'd probably recommend doing that but if you really want to try and be out of the box and not have to deal with trying to style a pickup truck I apologize for the way this thing looks by the way and the the, the colors are just because I had those lying around um, yeah it's it's not the prettiest of things um, but yeah anyway uh, I've been dragging on for too long let's talk about the rules and scoring so, first of all, naming stuff, um, PTV, propane transport vehicle, whatever, uh, and your username, all that good stuff, just to uh, make it easier for me to sort the cows and stuff. Uh, all this is um, is free, just make sure that it's uh, before 2018 on the uh, trim and uh, engine variant. Engine-wise, uh, very few rules for this, it is a rather open challenge bigger focus on just making a good scoring car or um, well, you know a good car that uh, can transport to propane um, I have uh, left these limits possibly a bit too tight so uh, tell me on my discord server uh, link in the description if you do think these rules are a little too restricting uh, I haven't I wanted to try and get this out quickly so I haven't had too much time to sort of check different options and things like that but uh I'd imagine you guys are probably going to make some uh, insane cars. Anyway, uh, you need a catalytic converter. You need to run it on 95 or a lower octane. Well, 95, I guess. Um, other than that, uh, production units must be below uh, 40 and engineering time below 35. Those are fairly wide. I'm using a pushrod head here because I, was, I decided to go proper pickup, 90 degree V8. Well, they're kind of a small engine, um, but yeah, decently quick spooling turbo and all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, fairly standard setup and uh, no room to increase the red line here. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping there's some decent uh, wiggle room here, uh, although potentially it could be a bit too tight and I will obviously adjust the limits. Uh, there's also a link to a Google Doc sheet uh, in the description. So uh, if you check that for uh, updates to the, to the rules and uh, also in my Discord server, obviously. Then when it comes to the car, uh, we have a safety minimum of 50, um, mainly because it's 2018. And uh, also I'd imagine the cars we're going to get here will be a lot bigger. Um, so, you know, it's going to be less of a hassle to try and um, stick to the, uh, to the limit. Um, uh, or try and get uh, 50 safety. I mean, I'm running. I think it's 
basic safety, yeah, basic tens, and uh, I'm still way over. I know I've got a massive vehicle, but even so, shouldn't be too hard uh, to stay under. Uh, comfort minimum of ten, again, way over. Uh, it's not going to be too hard. Uh, Maven, bump that. No, we'll, we'll keep it at ten for now. Um, yeah, because the rules are fairly open, and you'll means you can be a bit more creative and hopefully a bit more silly. Uh, this is sort of a sillier challenge since we're transporting an explosive bottle, so I don't really expect things to be too sensible. Uh, I'm probably going to regret saying that, but uh, yeah. Um, minimum fuel economy of 20 MPG UK. That translates to 16.7 uh, US MPG. Uh, 7.1 kilometers a litre and 14.1 litres per 100 kilometers. Again, all the conversions are in the uh, Google Doc sheet. Uh, it must have at least two seats, so no single seater race cars. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, maximum production units of 95, maximum engineering time of 35. So uh, some decent room I am using that so again if you want to if you do think the uh, the rules are a bit tight uh, tell me and I will look into that now in terms of scoring well uh, I'll show off the course but uh, how it drives in um, BMG drive and it's time around a uh, the bumpy course while uh, transporting the propane bottle will make up uh, will be scored on a scale of 1 to 10 as well how it drives in beam. Uh, I'll show off the course uh, after we go over the rules. Um, I will be scoring looks on a scale of uh, 1 to 5 and um, yeah in this case I don't really have any idea on what I'm going to be scoring looks on because uh, I'd imagine there'll be some uh, weird variety to this so I don't know, there are many ways of going about it. You may want to make some kind of fancy modern looking pickup truck, or you may want to try and make some sort of Humvee looking thing, or whatever, or if you try and go down a sports car or something, some kind of rally car looking thing. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to see uh, what you come up with, and uh, I'll just sort of have to vote my favourite. There may be multiple scoring, uh, scoring the max scoring looks uh, there, and styling, whatever. Uh, I will be scoring comfort on a scale of 1 to 5, which, I mean, the comfort minimum of 10. Uh, don't know why that's there now that I'm scoring it, but uh, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, check the sheets for updates. I may remove the minimum, although if you're probably not reaching the minimum, you're not going to score there, uh, score well there anyway. Uh, utility is being scored on a scale of uh, 1 to uh, to 10 so yeah how good of a uh, utility vehicle is obviously a big part of this uh, since these are utility vehicles um, price again scale of uh, 1 to 10 um, I mean scored yeah scored on a scale of 1 to 10 so uh, yeah 0% markup to make it easier for me and um, yeah you know I mean there's no sort of price point to aim for so I'd imagine we're going to get an interesting mix of smaller and cheaper cars but we'll probably suffer more on the utility front and uh, comfort front so it'll be interesting to see how people tackle this with I think there's a nice variety of options to go for this from uh, luxurious the sort of crew cab things to uh, to smaller sportier cars using the trailer tactic although I have been the trailer tactic will be a bit slower uh, you could also um, try building a roof rack using bumper bars I have tried this out it didn't really work as the propane bowl just went through the bumper bars that I used but I do wonder if maybe using wings or something could work although if that's the case I may need to be a bit gentle uh, on the throttle which could cost you even more time so that's potentially something you could look into if you really wanted to. And yeah, anyway, final scoring is reliability, which will just be on a scale of 1 to 5. Uh, I don't think this is going to make too much of a difference. Uh, or, you know, I have a feeling everything will be fairly close. But uh, 
you know, it does sort of guide you to make something a little more utilitarian than sort of ultra race car, hopefully at least. Anyway, yeah, uh, this is, well, the rules part of it. Now let's go to the uh, track. And here we are in beam. Uh, this thing does not look anywhere near as good uh, as it did in automation, which is saying something as it looked pretty terrible in uh, automation. Also, yeah, there was the mod there. It sort of went up on the screen for a second there as I uh, clicked the wrong one. Anyway, yeah, the uh, propane bottle. I should have gone this up before I started recording, but it, it, it's fine. Right, spawn you. And, yeah, uh, I'm basically just going to uh, spawn it in the back here, or uh, spawn it in a trailer and connect it up. I'll show that off in a second now. It doesn't fit perfectly, which is why um, this, yeah, will probably not work quite as well as many. I'm not quite sure how I'll do the scoring yet, because this... I don't quite want to make this a proper thing, but I'm not sure I may make this just like a traditional free part like I have the others. But uh, anyway, the course here, it's on the map um, test area uh, 43, something like that. Uh, if I bring it up in the list here, uh, it's here somewhere. Um, yeah, test area 54, sorry. And, uh, yeah, it's a mod map, again. Uh, I'm just using this, uh, using it in free room since this has no, uh, time trials. And, um, yeah, we're just going to be, um, uh, sort of manually timing this. I'll do a run and, uh, see how quick it was. Uh, each car will have as many runs as I feel it needs since this is quite a tricky track to, uh, to do. But, uh, hopefully it all... Uh, works out. So first of all, we've got this sort of high speed section. I am taking this quite carefully. Uh, I don't want to go on uh, all out attack here, but um, especially in such a big truck. Uh, I have a feeling the uh, the faster cars are going to do well in this early bit. There is these uh, potholes here, which aren't really too much of an issue, although some softer suspension would help here. Um, yeah, bouncing about quite a lot there. Uh, then, well, if you're going quite quickly, a harsh braking zone into a hairpin. This is basically just hairpins and straights with uh, bumps involved. But, uh, yeah, there's uh, a few bumps here. It's another not too bad straight. Really, you want a vehicle that can take jumps fairly well. Obviously, I'm going to have to back off regardless to keep the uh, bottle or uh, trailer attached. But uh, still, you know, something that can go, that's a bit smoother. Um, and can hold the bottle in place uh, will benefit. I have thought about um, attaching a bottle, and I may, I may drive around this because uh, this one is uh, quite a harsh bump. So I, I may, uh, I think, I think I'll probably drive around that one, since that is something that will just throw the bottle out, and uh, we'll also test the car's uh, ability to change direction at high speed. Um, yeah, I may end up attaching the uh, the bottle to the uh, to the trailer or the bed by like one node. Um, so, for example, if I stop here, if you press Control and click, what you can do is um, drag it to another one and middle click. Oops, oh, it exploded there. But um, yeah, if you middle click, you can uh, hold it in place, and uh, that would uh, stop it from moving around. I'm just going to finish the course. Uh, now it's gone, I can sort of relax a bit, but yeah, it does explode. Uh, it doesn't really affect the automation cars in that entertaining of a way, but uh, yeah, which is a bit of a shame, but uh, oh well. Uh, stay up here, don't flip it. Um, down here, this is again another long straight, so having some decent acceleration and good brakes will help you a lot here. So, lighting your car in any way you can, really, uh, would help. Uh, then, another straight, and then here is quite possibly a car kill. This may be why I, uh, I attach the, uh, the bottle to the bed, just to stop it from flinging out, um, completely. Although it will probably, like, it'll still bounce around a bit, hopefully, since I'll only attach it by one point, but, uh, 
Yeah, just to sort of keep it in the bed and stop ending runs like that. And you have these steps here, so it is quite a rough ending. But, um, oh, don't fall down the edge there. And then go around a turn and understeer a bit. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. I'll probably... I'm not quite sure where I'll, where I'll put the finish line. I don't want to put it at the end of this straight. So probably after you go down those final steps or something, uh, we'll count that as the end. Um, so, yeah, it's probably soft suspension. Good brakes, good acceleration are going to help you there. Um, but, yeah, coping with the bumps and uh, keeping the bottle from exploding will help a lot. Um... It's actually quite interesting because you need to keep the suspension soft and make it comfortable for the uh, bottle, but also be quite stiff so that you can take the uh, take the turns quite quickly. Um, let's also uh, show off the bottle connecting quickly. Uh, I know this is dragging on a bit, and I'm sorry for that, but uh, I'm going to be using the, uh, the small box uh, utility trailer. I may look into uh, raising the ride height, if I can. Um, right, let's move it a bit. Okay, that works. Um, so, if I uh, drag the force down to zero, just so that I can drag it, then just middle click it, like so. I can then connect it, put it into drive, and I have a trailer uh, connected up. It does leave the brakes on. I'll have to remove the brakes in the uh, vehicle configurator. Oh yeah, the propane bottle stays in existence. Um, but yeah, I'll uh, put the bowl here. You need to uh, remove the uh, the brakes in here, otherwise they stay locked on, which does mean that it gets a little slidey, shall we say. Um, oh, and it's detached. And just wait for it to pull itself up the hill to uh, to us. But yeah, that's sort of how that works. I'll put the bottle in there. Uh, I think, yeah, having no brakes on there, I may actually leave them on because it does get kind of skittish and uh, bounce around. Uh, I have to see if there is a way to uh, keep the bottle down in there. And yeah, the trailer does that. So the trailer tactic doesn't work quite as well. There is also the roof rack tactic, or using some kind of box, using bumpers or spoilers or something to uh, sort of hold the bottle in, sort of like a pickup bed. Which does mean you could quite possibly get away with using a mid-engine car for this, somehow. Um, so, yeah, if you can pull that off, I guess that's an option. But, um... Yeah, using a trailer doesn't entirely work. It will be interesting to see what options people go with. Anyway, yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed. Uh, send the curls to me on Discord. Uh, link in the description um, to that. So join my Discord and then just send the curls directly to me. Don't put them in my server. Well, unless you want other people to use them. But, um, yeah. Um... Yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you've enjoyed, and till the challenge begins, goodbye.